Greetings. Hi, witches. Greetings and welcome to a witch's guide to lunar magic. Now, I have really enjoyed chatting about the moons each month. And this year, as you guys may or may not know, if you've been following along, I decided I really wanted to standardize and update each of the past year's videos and go a little bit more in depth. So I'm using this as well to kind of like fill out some of my own grimoire. Um, and for today, we are going to be discussing the full strawberry moon in Sagittarius, which is occurring on on Friday, June 2nd. Now, other names for this moon include the Mead Moon, the Horse Moon, the Rose Moon, the Strong Sun Moon, the Honey Moon, haha, um, the Birthing Moon, and the Planting Moon. Now, as this name also suggests, this full moon falls in the sign of Sagittarius, the archer, right? It, Sagittarius is a mutable fire sign that is ruled by the planet Jupiter. Now, Jupiter calls us to remember our power, while Sagittarius encourages us to aim high with our fiery arrows and just really shoot for the sky when it comes to pursuing our goals. Uh, the archer is really a symbol of um, expansive energy, and he really asks us to focus on our goals through this airy season of Gemini, um, allowing this passion, allowing our goals, allowing our um, um, those things that inspire us to really light our way as we navigate the lunar month ahead, shall we say. Sure, that's all well and good, but here on this channel, I know we love chatting about practical magic, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around. Um, first things first, let's review some of the spiritual intentions of this lunation, this moon. Um, the spiritual intentions for the full strawberry moon um, in Sagittarius include optimism, growth, abundance, strength, curiosity, happiness, joy, and expansion. Next, let's chat color magic. Now, color magic is really great for novice practitioners or practitioners who may not be able to openly practice, um, but it's also fantastic for altar cloths and other decor. So what I encourage you guys to do is, of course, look, in th look into the world around you, right, um, for inspiration. So when I go out into nature, um, I really notice colors such as red, orange, um, pinks, and purples, as well as silvers, blacks, and white for the moon. Um, and anything that is really tied to like strawberries, plants, like late spring, early summer type vibes, it's going to be fantastic. So it's not quite, not quite the light pastels that we might have been playing with earlier this year, but getting more and more vibrant and colorful, just like the flowers are, right? Next, let's chat some symbolism that you can use to decorate your altar. So I, I encourage you to um, think of things such as lunar imagery, like the triple moon symbol, of course, bows and arrows to honor Sagittarius, um, gods of the hunt or associated with nature, abundance, fertility are all fantastic to honor during this moon. Um, that being along those same lines, I should say, <laughs> um, you might want to include fertility symbols, whether they be phallic or yonic. Um, you might want to include uh, solar imagery, so the sun, fire, things like that, as well as nature, strawberries, of course, as well as bees and other animals like farm animals. Um, you know, I would say like deer, birds, things, animals that you would see regularly around this period of time. Um, and yeah use those symbols to decorate your altar. Now for all of my wonderful spell crafters, green witches, alchemists, etc., um, let's chat about some herbs and crystals that we can utilize during this full moon. Um, now as for crystals, uh, or excuse me, as for herbs in general, we want to select herbs that are associated with our spiritual correspondences. So in the case of the full moon in Sagittarius, we want to focus on herbs associated with like growth, optimism, courage, joy, things like that, or alternatively herbs that are associated with Jupiter or ruled by the elements of fire, such as borage, clove, dandelion, honeysuckle, hyssop, sage, star anise, um, angelica, basil, bay, chili peppers, garlic, ginger, mullein, rosemary, sunflower, and wormwood, just to name a few. I encourage you guys to experiment and of course use the herbs that you have on hand or that you're able to wild craft. Now as for crystals, we're going to use a similar logic. So we're going to be matching the stones, uh, matching up stones that correspond with the colors of this moon perhaps or the spiritual intentions. So for the full strawberry moon in Sagittarius, I would consider using things such as agate. Um, any sort of like the reddish agates would be fantastic. I know there's different colors, obviously. Um, obsidian, bloodstone, amethyst, carnelian, cat's eye or tiger's eye, um, moonstone, topaz, and amazonite are all 
beautiful. Um, now finally, let's take all of these tools and all of these ideas um, and apply them to the real world with some practical magic and spell work, shall we? Kitchen witches, it is definitely your time to shine with this full strawberry moon. Um, I encourage you to make something with strawberries in it or maybe just like go out and have some fresh fruit um, with the intention of self-care, joy, or abundance stirred in or otherwise um, like put into whatever meal that you're making. Um, as always, take some time to spend time in nature. Please go connect with the planet. It'll do you a world of good, especially if you are dealing with a lot of mental health junk. It's not the end, it's not the end all be all or the cure all, but it definitely does help. Um Next, you might want to just take some time to do some personal reflection, maybe um, like matching this up with your divination for the full moon or other spell work, but really just taking some time to consider how far you've come from like the beginning of the year, right? We're almost six months into the year. Um, and if you, it feels like it went by like that, but January is actually like a pretty long time ago. Um, and it's really good to like honor how far we've come in our journey and then decide where you would like to see yourself by the winter solstice, right? So taking this, um, um, lunation to really just set those goals for yourself and like shoot your arrow off and watch it fly let it follow follow you and light the way now if you follow the wheel of the year you may want to use this full moon to begin preparing for letha or the summer solstice getting your decorations out cleansing your space for the summer solstice whatever you need to do to prepare but don't worry you still have time it's around the 20th this year uh, or the 21st around the 20 you know what i mean eh, anyways <laughs> um, we'll be talking about letha the summer solstice at length in a few weeks um next i recommend making moon water to water your your plants to nourish your garden or to use to attract joy, happiness, and positivity to the home. Um, and then finally, I encourage you to focus on creative projects and pursuits. We are still in this really expansive part of the year where energy is just like really like ah, flying all over the place. So I encourage you to make the most of it and really just channel it into your creative pursuits because now's the time to do it, right? Um, so I hope that this was helpful overall. I hope you guys enjoyed our video for today. And uh, don't worry, we're going to be talking about the full moon tons this week. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next one. Bye.